that you have. But the stakes are so much higher. There's so much more money. There's so many more people involved. There's sponsors and companies that are looking for you to fulfill the objectives while at the same time being perfect inside that race car. And that mental state as a driver that you have to be in and you have to hone your skills, not just inside the race car, but outside the race car and make everything be seamless and turn a wind line on. what I feel being here. Can't ask for anything more than what Mike Guger and Joe Barlow bring to the table at Vandergriff Racing. Going after my very first top fuel Wally, but so is Mike Guger as a crew chief. And just kind of having that underdog status that I've always had my whole life, and Mike has a lot to prove, and Joe, he's obviously had a lot of Wallys in his past times with other teams, and so he brings the knowledge of knowing how to win. Mike has the drive of how to win. I have the ambition. I couldn't ask for anything more. There's there's nothing more that, that, that I want out of this team and what Joe and Mike and Bob Vandergriff and these guys have given me. Not bad, not bad. But it was good. Oh, obviously not all the way. How, far you How I got into this seat here at VDR started almost 20 years ago. I was eight years old when I first stepped into a junior dragster, and that's in large part obviously to my family. My dad, he was a he was a hardcore street racer in Southern California, and he ran the strips there, and he ran the streets, and he wanted his kids to race in a safe environment. And so we started racing in the junior drag racing league, and then. From there, after I go to Pomona and I go to the Winter Nationals and Finals and skip school to go watch the drags, falling in love with the speed going, I'm going to do that someday. I don't know how I'm going to make it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But working my way through sportsman categories, nostalgia funny cars, pro mods, and then finally here, it's been a process, but I've never lost sight of that dream. I learned how to drive and how to understand a vehicle and really hone my, my skills on the track was in the Nostalgia Funny Car with Steve Pfluger and that team. And that's when I really, you know, got my shift points, felt tire shakes, felt spin, got to short shift, got to really make that car my own and, and give input into making it run better on the track and taking it to its maximum level. Now, switch it all the way over to a funny car where, yeah, that term, manhandling it, yeah, that's because it's a short wheelbase car and it wants to make a move and you're not going to be timid with it. you got to get after it and be stern. And that's what's a funny car. Transition over into ProMod. Suspension-based chassis sitting left side of the column. That was a whole different world. I, I ran supercharged cars. I never ran nitrous. Ran turbo. I had the most success running turbo car. Won three national events. And that's when I think at the very, very tip top of driver input and being perfect matters there because it's so sensitive driving those cars. I wanted to be, yeah, I wanted to be that female that made it from the bottom and worked my way up because I didn't have the privileges that some other people had at that time. And that's, that's the person that I wanted to be. And I feel like because of everybody that's been able to support me and, and, and believe in me throughout all these years and I'm finally, you know, I'm finally that person. So I think because there was a missing superhero in my life that I've wanted to become that. And so now hopefully I am, you know, a, a superhero for some little boy or girl out there that thinks, man, I, I don't know how I'm gonna make it. I wanna be a top fuel driver someday, but I don't know how to do it. We all do it different ways. And, and mine was just the grind, right? The, the dream is free, but the hustle is sold separately. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't have a, a playbook to go off of, of how to get here, except, like I said, a dream, people that support you, good people throughout your entire life, and sticking hard at it, never giving up, and then finally landing with some awesome individuals like Mike and Bob and Joe that want it just as bad as I want it. And that's, and that's what it's like.